What are the requirements there in terms of communication? It has to be in a way that they are communicating such as you and I. They can talk back and forth freely. Uh, one of the ways is of course the CB radio a two-way radio, or even if you're on the cell phone. Now remember when you're on the cell phones in a commercial vehicle, it cannot be in your hand. You must have that Bluetooth or hands-free device, and that would go for your equipment too, just from a safety standpoint. You've got enough equipment, uh, excuse me, operations in that equipment uh, to manipulate that the last thing you need is that cell phone up to your hand, so when you're operating, you want to make sure you keep your hands free to do the job at hand. Yeah, that makes really good sense that that would be the case then. I know we've had conversations in the past about moving trucks down the roadway too, and by trucks we're talking about semis or large loads of grain. You know, how do you communicate with those pieces of equipment as well? Do you have wireless headsets for your phone? I mean, I know that's required. Yeah. But what do you all use for that? Just CBs? Just or mainly CBs. And in, in another, another thing with this, using the CBs it's a, that I feel like is more beneficial to us is, you know, there's we're in cold country, so a lot of cold trucks and running up and down the road. And if, by using CB radios, we can turn down to channel 19, which is what generally everybody's on, and you can kind of let them guys know what's coming if there's a piece of farm machinery coming at them. Now that, that's a topic we really hadn't considered, the ability to communicate yeah. with other truck drivers yeah. too. So you can do that when you're in farm equipment right. as well. Yeah.